In the previous video, we talked about devices map and how you can use this to navigate all of the data that the Defender for IoT sensor has collected on the network and be able to view properties of different devices and so on. In this video, I wanna talk about how to use device inventory, which is basically another view of those devices. So rather than doing the devices map, you can use the device inventory. I actually like this because it gives me a table view that I can filter and sort and add or move columns on to be able to view all the devices that the sensor has discovered. And so just to give you an idea here, I can you know, click on this and I can set different filters. So remember we were talking about authorized? Well, over here on the far right, here's a column for that. Is authorized true or false? And so we can just filter on that. I can click on the gear icon, I can add additional columns and then filter or sort on that data. So that could be extremely useful based on what I'm trying to accomplish here. Now, another reason why I might, why I might want to use device inventory over the map is I can export this out to a CSV file. So all I gotta do is just click on the export button. And then once I do that, give it a minute or so, and then it will come back and you'll see the uh, CSV file being downloaded. So that could be useful. I could import that into maybe another system of record or a CMDB database or something like that. Now, I could also use the, and there's the CSV file to download. I can also use the, uh, the APIs with Defend, uh, Azure Defender for IoT to import data in. And so that might be useful here as well. But again, just use the device inventory view as just another way to view the devices that the sensor has collected. Now I can also click on these devices and I can get to the same properties as if I was in the map view. And so let's pull up one of these here, uh, this XP workstation as an example. Here I can see some information about it, protocols it's using, uh, attributes and what we discovered on the device. Or I can scroll down to one of these uh, OT devices, like one of these uh, DCS controllers, and I can view information on the back plane and what's running there. So again, just another way to view my devices using the device inventory view. Stay tuned because in the next video, we're gonna talk about alerts. So take care everybody and we'll see you soon.